Hi guys, I didn't thought that I'd be here again this early because I've just posted a few days ago, but the these past few days like people has been coming at me and telling me to do things that is contrary to what God has told me. So I thought maybe some of you certainly has been dealing with something similar because yesterday I've also just met up with my friend and she's been experiencing the same thing so i guess somebody needs this too while it is wise to listen to people's how do you say it it is wise to listen to a lot of counsel because the bible does say so but it all comes down to what God wants you to do because everybody has something to say. And it's just been so annoying because like, stop telling me what to do. That is not what God has told me to do. So anyone who has been telling stuff to other people or to me, just know that I'm so easily annoyed by people telling me what to do because I always ask God before I do anything and it doesn't mean that you can't correct me if I'm wrong but just be mindful if what you're saying is from God or not because I, I will respond to you if you say something to me I, I would not respond I would ask God right away God is what this person is saying is from you or not and I won't respond to you so you better ask God if what you're saying is from him or not. And I just want to say that don't let anyone manipulate you because the Bible also says that manipulation is as the sin of witchcraft. That means if you tell people what to do, forcing people what to do when they don't want to do it, that is witchcraft, guys. And for the other side of the person like me, don't let people manipulate us into doing what God doesn't tell us to do. So, for example, I told you guys in the past video that God told me to leave my spouse because he wasn't ready for me. So, while some people may think that I should forgive him and like I should do the initiative to reach out to him or whatever no that's not what god told me to do so shut up sorry okay I, I don't mean to be rude but sometimes people tell us things that sounds good but that is not what god tells us to do okay i'm sorry i clearly i know you guys can see that i'm kind of emotional because i am emotional about people telling things like I said before it annoys me a lot and I don't try to tell people what to do I never force people what to do I would always ask them to ask God is this the thing that God wants you to pursue or not because I don't want to be held accountable for anybody's life anybody's decisions so you cannot blame people if something doesn't go the way it sh you want it to. You know what I mean, right? So that is why it is very crucial for us to ask God and not the opinion of man. And also the other thing is like we're living in the last days where God clearly says in the Bible that he pours out his spirit so that we dream dreams and we see visions and all that stuff so i know i'm not the only one i have a friend who is also prophetic and my friend also has a friend that, that has the word of knowledge and all those kind of gifts of the, of the spirit and i know a lot of you guys obviously have the gifts of the spirit but we have to know that not all dreams are from god so if you get a dream and then you base your life from that dream like oh god what does this dream means but it's actually maybe just god letting you know 
something to pray for it and it doesn't mean that all of this is going to happen like we we can see from the story when jo when jonah went to nineveh and he was going to tell that god is god's anger or god's anger is going to destroy them or whatever but it didn't happen because the nineveh repented so does it mean that it was a false prophecy no because god told him to say that so that the people repented you know what i mean so it doesn't mean like you are you getting what i'm saying here it doesn't mean that everything that you dream everything that you see you have to say it sometimes you have to ask god what god what do you want me to do with this dream maybe god simply wants you to pray for the person so that the bad thing doesn't happen i also just watched a video isaiah posted yesterday about abusing the gifts of the spirit or something i forgot the title but it's basically about that like don't let the gifts of the spirit become an idol in our lives over the relationship that we have with god so my point is don't let people manipulate you don't let your don't let your gifts manipulate you you have to have discernment guys so stop telling me what to do stop telling other people what to do just pray that me or other people that you are trying to convince is being convinced by god himself and not you okay just if god really put it on your heart to say something say it but don't force them to believe it okay guys that is all i wanted to say i hope this is enough i hope nobody take my words in the wrong context i'm not forcing you to believe what i say i'm not telling you guys to do what i say i'm telling you guys to ask god what to do with your life so that you are hold accountable for your own actions okay guys stay blessed